hello, 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 and welcome back to Roscoe Gaming. I'm Roscoe, and we're back in Sim Airport. Now, last time we made a good start. We do have a slight issue at present with security not being able to handle the amount of people that's coming through. So that is definitely something we need to look at. I also want to look at remote um, um, gates. That would be really good. So we can put some gates over here. They don't need to be attached here. We'll have a bus that picks up. Take some. The plan is, in my head, I'm working out that we can build a bit off here. Where we've got the remote gates for the, the, the coaches. And then the coach will pick up. It'll go underground here and back out to ground here. And then it'll travel under here and come out this side. And then we can join it onto the gates. That's how it's working in my head. And we also need another runway. That is definitely an important thing right now. So... I think the runway is more important. We also need to get... How do I get... Um, how... Where's research? How do I get land... Like, so we can buy land. Land expansion. Operations. Ability to hire a COO. What else does that give us? That gives us credit reporting. VP of finance. Um, okay. Lower income tax... So we're going to need some offices as well. Um, construction foreman. I do think land expansion is very important. So we're going to do this one. Um, I've done a few things off camera. I've allowed it to run for a few days. So we've actually got some money. I've cleared our loan. If I go to loans, we don't have any. There we go. Uh, loan status, non applicable because we do not have one. Uh, which is lovely. We do have £437,000. I've added a sales rep who is dealing with Roscoe Travel and we've done a bit of negotiating. Now, I did this first time off screen because I had no idea what I was doing. Right, basically, you get a sales rep and you assign them to different air, um, air companies. So if we go to Roscoe Travel here, we have the option to negotiate. Now, I can negotiate... As you see, they like me. We can negotiate prices. So before where you just hired a member of staff and then you could change the price to suit yourself. And it didn't really upset the, the airlines too much. You just went for it, really. Um, now we negotiate and we can give them exclusive rights to... to Exclusive rights to gates, for example. So this gate is actually a, a Roscoe Travel gate. Uh, let me click on it. There we go. Um, assign airline exclusivity. We've done that. Have I? I'm sure I've done that. Um, wait, let me try and get... Does it tell me? Um, assign to baggage depot. Um, large Roscoe Travel. Yes, there we go. Large Roscoe Travel. And this one is a small Roscoe Travel. So both of these gates are assigned to Roscoe Travel. Um, obviously, once we get some more different companies coming in, that will come more into play. At the moment, though, I'm guessing we've... Oh, you've got 44 minutes and you've got 43 minutes, so we might be okay. Ooh, I'm thinking we could bring the exit so it comes ac across the upper floor and then down into this area. Uh, which means we can use this entire area for security. I think that's probably the easiest fix at present. So, let's go upstairs. Let's put some foundation in. Uh, I'm, how much is that going to cost me? Uh, quite a bit of money, but we can go with it. We're going to go with it like so. Uh, we'll let them get on with it, and then we'll plan our next step. So, I'm thinking, how big are these bus things? Wait, let me, can I type bus? There we go. So, these are the, like, these are pickup areas. So, they're two by something. We need to lose these toilets, ideally. Um, which is fine. We can, we can find a way around that. Mm, there's not a lot of room there at all. Because in fairness, how big is a road? Um, road. Let's type in road. 
So we could combine that and up there and then have them in line here. Right, so it'll come down there, it'll turn here, and then go up here. So, um, let me go back to bus. There we go. These are going to have to go here. Is that enough space? Possibly. We don't need a lot of space. Oh, it's a bit... Or we could take the bus service off this side of the building. Because the plan is, the overall plan is we're going to expand and buy a load of land and then we're going to buy, build a new terminal whilst this one is still running. That is the overall plan. This might be hampered down here due to the fact we're putting a runway in, but we could come off the end of the building maybe. Let's put the runway in and we'll see what happens. So, how much is a runway going to cost me? Which is better? Concrete? Concrete's definitely better. Um, so I can't start there because of a fence, apparently. Okay, so we can go from there. How much would that cost me? 230. Most of my money, then. Hmm. Let's speed it up a bit. Um, so they can get upstairs, then. Other thing, tiny little changes we've done while I've been waiting. I've put a few vending machines on either end of these seats because... The build-up on these was just ridiculous. It was awful. Um, this area is going to work really well, I think. So if I go to construction, I go dismantle this wall and this wall. Like so. Now, gate. No, okay. Um, I'm sure that's a exit. How do I put, um, like, conference room? Because you can have conference rooms now as well. Let me go to zoning. We are going to see what we can have uh, whilst they're building this. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, so, we can have visitors reception used by visiting airlines, executives to access areas not meant for ordinary passengers. Use this as a barrier and areas behind it will not be accessible by passengers. Now, does this need to go past the security point or before the security point? I'm guessing before the security point. Um, we've got... So, we need one of those, a visitor's reception. And then we've got first uh, flight crew lounge. We need one of those. First class lounge. We need some of those. Female restrooms. Electrical. That's something we definitely need to look into. Um, I've got big plans. As long as we don't get any bugs, it stopped us like last time. Conference room. Meeting between airline executives and your administrators take place in these conference rooms. These are, are vital for improving communication. Which is really good. So we need to look into that. Okay, so we've got this bit done. Let's try and get some stairs done. No, no, wait, 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 because we don't want to. I'm going to put that there. We're going to put um, exits in here. Right, that's correct. So that's going the right, right way. Um, I know that's the plan. Sector cannot be vacated. By who? I'm not trying to vacate it. Wait a minute. Um, construction. Dismantle. That and that. And then we are going to go down a level. And we're going to go stairs. Oh, no. Wait. Stairs up. And we'll put those in there. And that will open up the whole area then. Um, can I dismantle these? These people are now stuck. Um, dismantle. So now people should be going up here. Yes, they are. That's excellent. Because ultimately this gate is going to move and these are going to be upstairs anyway. So downstairs is not going to be used that much. So that makes perfect sense. Now we can go to construction. We can go... Right, let me slow it, slow it down slightly. 
we can put this wall across there. There we go. I don't know why I've slowed it right down, because I need my workers to do what we want them to do. I do have some mods that I found on the workshop. So, for example, now when I type in bins, I've got the option of colours. How cool is that? Um, obviously, it'll be green, of course. Uh, this building down here will be extended. Wow. We're, the aim is to build a tiny airport, which makes us lots of money, and then we can start building on bigger areas up here. Um... Uh, Restrooms need to be looked at because these are restrooms for people who have not um, boarded or gone through security yet. Although they're not used that much in all fairness. Right, so that's done. So now we can go construction, dismantle. Now if I dismantle from there a second it should stay... Uh oh, no. Uh, uh oh, cancel. Can I cancel? Uh-oh. Boop. This is not good. Um, wall. Uh, wall that area off. Now, quick. Please. Um, this is priority. This is urgent. We are unsecure. I repeat, we are unsecure. Get that wall up. There we go. Now we're secure again. Whew. That was, that was a bit stupid of me. <laughs> oh, okay, so now we've got this area. And we can extend the zoning. So if I go zones and I go security, we are going to extend that area to there. We are going to go construction. Floor. Uh, we had red floor before, didn't we? Wait, that didn't work. So let's just go to construction and look for the red floor in. Like so. And uh, we need to sort out these um, these queues because they're not really working. Um, wait, let's put you in. We'll put you in, you in, and you in. Like so. We can hire some more security guards. We need four more. Oh, one, two, three, four. Like so. And then we can assign to here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I need that assigned to here. It's really hard just picking the, the stand. Right, you're assigned to there. I can't. Oh, I'm going to have to let them go through, aren't I? Okay, so let's get some security protocols in so we can put some more of the metal detectors in. Apparently I can't put it there, which is a little annoying. Hmm. Okay, um, let's get some baggage things in first. Uh, bag scanners, there we go. We will go remote bag scanners, which I've never used um, at present, but let's put another one of those in. Uh, we can also go to construction. We can dismantle that piece there. Which shouldn't make too much issues. Uh, we do need another security member. There we go. Uh, what is going on with you guys? It's like they're idiots in all fairness. Um... I'm just going to expand that security area to there. Now we're going to go construction. I've paused it because for some reason these people can't cope with any simple task. Uh, construction, dismantle this wall along here. Go. Um, we need uh, security. No, it might help if I, if I typed correctly. Um, and we've got this one. Which can go in there. And I think we've got the queues through now. Oh god, look. Um, you're assigned. You're assigned. One of these is not assigned. You. Um, assigned to here. And are you assigned? Yes, you are. So those are all assigned to that queue now. Which is lovely. We are having a bit of a backup on bags now. Hmm. 
Oh god, we need one more. Um, plus one more. There we go. Can we get these guys through, please? Are these just going to build up and build up and build up like they did before? Because we had this issue before and it was not good. We could get rid of this restroom in all fairness and put some more scanners in. Hmm. Oh god, please don't. Please don't. I just need you to behave just to make me enough money to extend the airport. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. We could move this in. Wait, can I dismantle that a second? I'm thinking, what if we double up on the bag scanners? Oh no, wait, it's working. Is it working? Okay, you're, I, I've probably got some scheduling issues at the moment. Yeah, we had a few late runners, but since we sorted out security, it's looking good. We might not actually... What's the matter with you? Um, garbage zone needed. Well, why aren't they collecting it? Construction. Um, there's dumpsters, isn't there, if I remember correctly? Yes, so we're going to put some dumpsters in for the time being, just to keep them happy. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I... <laughs> This is all temporary. We're, we're working on getting some money. So that's working, that's working, that's working. We could probably put our newsstand back in. Um, I'm going to put it... No, I liked it there, really. That was the best place for it. I'm going to put it back. And hope that works. We do need to move this toilet. Somewhere. I'm not really sure where it's good. we're going to move it to. Maybe we'll get rid of the toilets completely. Is that going to work? Now, let's get the, the runway in. And then we can look at the remote uh, remote gates. Right, so runway. I'm going to go the cheapest just because these are temporary. Like so. So that spends a massive chunk of our money. We do have a bit of money though, so it's not all bad. And I can't get a taxiway off there. Surprise, surprise. Can I take a taxiway off of here? Oh, wait. What if we go like that and then like that? Does it have to have one at each end? I don't know. We'll find out once they've built it. It's a bit of a choppy airport at the moment. But that's not a bad thing. We can work with that. We've got the basics in place. I really want to get some remote um, gates in so we can get another medium-sized gate on here. And ultimately, it's flowing perfect at the moment. We've got lots of people coming through. I know it's still early. It's 5.23 a.m. But, are you constructed yet? No, not yet. I presume they're waiting for deliveries. I did do a bit of work downstairs, I will admit, because my maintenance room was inaccessible because of the gate. They, apparently, they can't walk across these conveyor belts, which is a shock to me. <laughs> so we've just jigged it around a bit so they can actually get in here, and we've put a storage area in. And that's all we've done downstairs. Um, it was just little bits and pieces that, that, that sort of happen as I'm trying to make money. We've still got quite a lot of money considering we've just built a new um, runway. I'm hoping I don't need to put um, an exit off this end. I'm hoping they're just going to get on that end and fly off and then come down. And Yeah, that's what we're going with. If they ever build it. So we should, if we look at our schedules, be going on time today. We are on time so far. We haven't had too many big flights in yet. It's around this time that we get a couple of hundred people pouring into the airport. That it gets a bit, a bit chock-a-block. It's like they queue here to do that when this queue is barely full. Again, we will add more of these in the new terminal. We do need a new office, which we could probably... <gasps> yes, that will work. Let's do that. 
If we build this area, we can put a set of stairs going... Oh, no, I've gone up too far. We can put a set of stairs going up here and down there. So the staff can go up into the office area. This office will go. And we can make a tiny little male restroom just to see us through. And then we can clear this area, which will allow us to get the coaches in. Which I really wanted to do in this episode, but... It's very much coming down to what's the matter with you? It requires at least one taxiway on both ends. Oh, that's not going to work. What if I put a taxiway there? <laughs> it's going to hate it, isn't it? I'm going to have to redo this entire thing, aren't I? Oh, yeah, it's going to hate it. I know it is. It's going to go, no, nope, that's not a thing. Oh, please, 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 just pretend that's on the end. This might work. I'm hoping it works. So exit's done. We need to move the offices. That is what we need to do next. Because that is actually, there's no building above that, right? No. But it gives us a big area. And we can have um, areas with conference rooms and that up here. Because this area is inaccessible to the public which I quite like are you on time you've got 66 minutes to go yet you are loading up nicely how many people are on you 116 you've got 50, 40 minutes you've already gone wow uh, 40 minutes it yep our flights are working perfectly fine now security has got it sorted back on track that is what we like we're up to 184 no 183 thousand pound Oh, poo. That's what I'm saying, poo. How am I going to get around this? Do you know what? Do I need a CEO? What does the CEO do? Um, Finance. We haven't even CFO. CT oh, I think we needed that for the government grant, if I remember correctly. Hmm. What if we just bung a couple of offices down here for the time being? I know it's not ideal, but... We'll just put one... Oh, no, wait. We better make it four. And then we can go four there and there. And we can go doors. No. No door. Should I put another O? Will that help? There we go. Uh, we can put a staff door there and a staff door there. We can type in office. Um, put that in and that in. And we need an office chair. Like so. And then we can put zones as offices. Where is offices? There it is in the blue. Like so. Uh, now we can hire... Uh, manage admin. Which one? Vacant. Uh, COO. Hire. Bosch. I presume it's just going to claim that office automatically when they arrive, which means we can go into land expansion. And if we can buy a piece of land over here, we can extend this runway that way, and that'll solve our issues for the time being. Come on, where are you? There you are. So we can do land expansion now. No, we've got to research it. Let's research that. Uh, land expansion. Go on, I want you to research it quickly. Quickly is good. Yeah, because then... Have I got a planning tool still? They used to have a planning tool. Government grants, flight management. Planning, there we go. So then we can sort of... Build a building here, like so. Yeah, probably something like that. That was my plan. And then we'd have the road. But that's not going to really work because we don't have the space to get the roads in and that. But if that's going to stay there... We could build a building here and just have a few gates going off to things over here. 
That would work really nicely. Now I'm going to leave that there because I think that's the way to go. I know we could just put the gates in so they come up. Well, I really want to play around with these remote gates at present. We just need that research so we can buy some more land. And it's taking forever. Um, I'm going to dismantle that runway because we can't use it anyway. Can I demolish that? Yes, I can. So we'll keep this and that will be the end of the runway. And we could probably put some remote gates down here, actually. That would make sense. Like the entrances and they could go up on the road this way. Because can we get two roads through there? Oh yeah, bags of space. Yeah, we'll do that and we'll have the, the gates for the outside areas here. And then they can go up here into gates around this area. Which will give us enough money coming in to expand big style. And I really want to expand. I want to... I want hundreds of planes coming in. I think that's the end goal for this series, is just hundreds of planes. Um, but first, we need to get some money. So you're happy in there. I'm not doing the flooring. This is temporary. They'll just have to deal with that as it is. Um, I think our, our, the Roscoe's flight, uh, Roscoe Travel still loves us, in all fairness. 85% rating. It's extremely happy with us. Um, commercial fees, the impact uh, that runway fees and terminal fees has on this airline satisfaction. So they're really not happy with that. Uh, facility quality, they're not happy with either. But we can improve that over time. I have really whacked the price up, but they did agree to my, my negotiations. So it's their own fault, really. Um... I've given them complete access and control of the airport, really, because we can't have any other planes in because we don't have any gates for them. I also told them that I would pretty much give them perfect, perfect um, service. So I think I put it to about 80% accuracy for getting them away on time and things like that, uh, which really helped with the fact that I overcharged them for everything. As you can see, I do make quite a bit of money just on these two gates alone, which was the plan. Um, can we buy anything yet? Hello? Oh, it takes so long to research anything. So, we didn't get a great deal done it in this episode. We did get security sorted, so people are flying through there nicely. We've got research on the way, and we have planned out roughly how it's going to go for the small airport. And then we would just buy land after land up here and we can start again, basically. Uh, build it exactly how we want it. Lots of detail, lots of planting. Um, I'm not having plain floors like this. I will do patterns and things like that. So it's definitely worth tuning in over the next couple of episodes. It's going to be quite exciting. If you've enjoyed anything in this episode, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.